Hey everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And today I'm using the Offbeat Limitless Kit for April. And I am pulling out this beautiful wood grain patterned paper. I love that paper. I think it's just gorgeous and I wanted to do a dark layout with it. And I have these two photos of my little guys riding their favorite ride, um, which is like these little helicopters at our local theme park. So I am using these photos today along with this paper cut file from the shop. Um, it's just these little keys, but I thought it would just be perfect to back with all these other really pretty papers in this kit. And I'm just gonna back each one of these little keys because I thought the keys would be perfect for the little helicopter. I don't, do helicopters even take keys? I imagine they take keys, but you know, I'm sure somebody here will probably actually know that answer. So <laughs> let me know in the comments, but I assume they take something to make them run, but I thought these keys would be just perfect. And um, I'm gonna use this little go, go, go acrylic piece from this kit as well. Cause it's just so cute. It's the perfect color to go on this layout. So I'm gonna pop that here and kind of use that as my title. And then I am just going to, um, I finished, I finished actually backing that cut file. As you can see, I kind of sped that video up so you didn't have to watch me back the whole thing. And um, the rest is here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue matting my photos at this point. So I'm just layering all the different pattern papers on here. And I'm actually at a crop at this layout. So you saw me point just there. I was talking to somebody and pointing at something, but I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> So my setup is a little bit different than it normally is. I've got this blue tablecloth on here, which normally it's my normal wood grain desk, but since I'm at a crop, it looks a little bit differently today. So um, I think I managed to get nine layouts done in the course of the weekend, which seems pretty low for me um, based on you know when I used to go to crops, but it's been a long time since I've gone to a crop since my firstborn was about nine months and he's now almost six so yeah I just I had to get back in the groove of things and hopefully I'll be able to go again but I'm sure all you guys know when you have kids it's kind of hard to find sitters so I was very very fortunate that I have a wonderful mother-in-law that was able to watch my baby girl for the weekend and my husband took care of the boys so it worked out really really well so back to this layout, I'm just layering the photos up there as you saw, I kind of ripped some edges, distressed the other edges. And then here I'm just pulling out a punch by Creative Memories. I've had it in my stash forever, but I love this circle punch and it just comes in handy a lot. So I'm just cutting various circles out of these pattern papers again. And I'm just going to um, kind of st scatter them throughout my layout. So I'm just going to punch a bunch of these out and then I will distress the edges of them as well. So I've got all my patterns there punched out. I'm going to grab my edge distressor here and just rough up all the edges of these and then start adding them on my layout. So at this point, I sped that up. I got pretty much all of them here distressed. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding them on my layout, alternating between just gluing some of them down flat with my ATG gun, and then popping some of these up with some 3D foam squares by Thermoweb by Gina K, just to give them some dimension. So I've got all of those attached now. I'm actually just adding some white splatters with just some white acrylic paint, watered down a little bit with my paintbrush. I'm just flicking it on there to create some nice white splatters splatters so the reason why I dilute it with the water is so that I can create that texture that is able to be splatter because if I try to do that just straight with the white acrylic paint it's too thick to actually make those splatters so that's why I add a little bit of water to it so here I'm just pulling out some elements from the kit I really really like these trims and I felt like it's missing a little something at the top of my photo so I'm just going to cut a little piece and add that in there using some of my Nouveau glue which you can grab in the shop it's my favorite adhesive that dries clear I absolutely love it so I just added that little piece there up top and just tucked it in so I love these alphas that come in this kit, um, but I actually don't think I'm going to use those today on this one. I've got my acrylic title piece, so I'm, that's going to be my main title. So I'm just pulling out these ephemera bits by 49 and Market, and I love these little pieces. You can just pop them right out. I kind of like that they come in these sheets versus the die cut packs because they're just kind of all on the sheet and you can just see at first glance what you have. So I'm just grabbing a couple of these little airplanes. I thought they would be perfect on this layout. 
my photos are, are, are of my boys in the little helicopter ride, so I thought these little airplanes would just go super cute on there. So I added a couple on those corners there, kind of facing my photos. And then here, I'm just gonna pop up my paper cut file with some more of these 3D foam squares, alternating between a couple different sizes so I can get them all on there. Um, they also make shaker strips too. Sometimes I grab those and use, but today I'm just using these little foam squares. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that down. I'm not worried about gluing the ring part down because this acrylic title is going to go right over top of that. So let me just spread some glue on this real quick and I'll go ahead and start gluing this down. I got to pop the rest of my pieces in there um, that fell out along the way, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get there. But I've got all these pieces. I love this little acrylic piece because you could actually pop these letters out and get virtually two uses out of it because you could use the just the outline on a layout or, or you could um, use it together like I have or you can pop that out and then you would have the outline and you would have the letters themselves. But I liked it all together so I like the color variation. Here I'm just adding in the rest of my circles, just filling in my empty spaces and I'm just gonna add a few more little bits from the ephemera packs, and I'm just gonna fill in a little bit. I'm gonna add some wordy bits. Um, I really like this striped, so I'm gonna add this beside my photo here. It's kind of like a little border strip, and I'm gonna add some pieces on the bottom and the top here, and add some word phrases. I'm gonna actually add a little journaling as well. So I'm just gonna pop some music in here while you uh, can enjoy watching me finish this one up. And then I'll stop in at the end with the finished layout.
here's the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. As you can see, I added some beautiful sequins as well from the shop, and I just love this kit. These colors are just gorgeous. If you want this kit, it's the Offbeat Limitless kit. You can grab it from the shop now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks for being here. Bye-bye.